So I have this Chromebook. It's in pretty bad shape, has many missing keys, lots of cracks on the edges. Not a good looking piece. So I went out and bought another one. It's meant to be spares or repairs, you know, broken screen. And I wasn't exactly sure what to expect. But as I opened it, I saw that it had a pretty good keyboard. And you can see me comparing them side by side. It looks alright, so I thought, you know what? It has a broken screen. I'm just going to take it apart and see what the components look like inside. So I got to it, I took the back case off. There's about eight screws, it's not that hard. There's some screws underneath the little uh, rubber pads that keep it held up. So I thought that I'd take them off. And it was quite easy to get the, the back case off. And then I thought I saw the battery. Then I saw the battery and I just started removing that. And it seemed pretty easy as well. It seemed to have the same type of screw. Quite easy to disconnect as well. And then I saw the motherboard. I disconnect the various components from that because there's a lot of uh, things connected to that and that soon came out and then as you can see I'm taking out the speakers now fairly easy to do they also seem in fairly good condition so about this time now I'm thinking how come I got this for 15 pounds off eBay it's insane so now I'd start disconnecting the keyboard assembly from the main base of the computer and it's fairly easy to do you can just snap the back off and remove the wires and there you go it's pretty simple and as you can see the keyboards in pretty good shape and then well, next what I wanted to do was check uh, if I could remove the screen and it was actually fairly easy to do if you take the front part off you can easily undo four screws and the screen comes out but of course you have to remember to remove the LCD cable at the back as you can see it's here fairly easy to take off though so I just put that to the side because it's broken not much use and I got taken apart my own one and as you can see the, the rubber parts on it are actually missing on my own one so yeah I thought I just have to leave it. The back came off slightly easier for this one. The battery, same sort of principle, fairly easy to take apart. Battery came out the same, and then again with the motherboard, it was a similar idea. And then I got set taking out the speakers, and I did notice that my speakers were in slightly better condition than the one I bought. The one I bought did have this sticky stuff on, and it was not looking that great, so I thought I'd probably keep the speakers from my one. And then again, the keyboard assembly came off pretty easily, um, remembering, to move the remembering to move the wires. And as you can see, I've got the keyboard there, and the keyboard is actually in pretty bad shape, pretty cracked. And this is the screen, and this screen actually works, and that's what's good about it. The screen's in good condition, and that's what I'm going to keep out of this computer. I then replaced it with the back panel of the uh, nicer Chromebook, and then I could easily slot all the best components together. I kind of mi mix and match the best components together to make kind of like a hybrid Chromebook, if you know, if you'd like. And then I quickly put the speakers back on after screwing on the hinges. And then the motherboard came in pretty quickly, and that was easily connected. I quickly connected all the components back together. And yeah, after I connected all the components, the battery came in fairly easy as well seemed pretty much like how I'd put it together and the back case came on just as easy as it went on and as you can see now it's in pretty good condition um, I can easily log in the keyboards in nice condition but this one on to the to the right of it actually has some pretty bad keys There's a broken uh, screen as you can see and the keys are all missing this one though much better much better condition keyboards in much nicer condition no cracks around the edges this one loads and loads of cracks and yeah, I might fix this one up for a future video, maybe. But for now, this one works really nicely. So guys, thanks for watching. It's been How to Have a Q here, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Click these annotations on the screen now to watch another video. Thanks for watching, guys. Goodbye.